All right, let's do counter espionage. <clears throat> espionage, what is espionage? Okay, espionage or spying involves the government or individual obtaining information that is considered secret or confidential without the permission of the holder of the information. It is confidential. All right. Let's go back to Bob. You guys want to keep using Bob? Let's use someone else. Let's use use James or uh, let's use Bob. Let's use Rick. No, they wouldn't hire anyone named Rick. Let's use Ron. Bob and Ron. And instead of using Sally, yet let's use uh, Diana. All right, let's use Diana. We're picking different names here. So Diana, D-I-A-N-A. -A, okay. So you have Ron over here. Now, let's go back to espionage before we actually get an account. What is espionage? Espionage basically actually very simple. Ron takes information from ATF. Let's use alcohol. ATF. ATF is the Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms Division of the government. Now, why would Ron take information from the ATF? Well, it's basically simple. Let's say Ron's brother, who was James, basically had about 2,000 kilos of heroin and marijuana stolen. And the ATF confiscated it. But instead of actually taking it, they put it somewhere in one of their safe facilities. Now, let's say you can actually access that safe facility. Wouldn't someone want to go back there and take their drugs? Yeah. So Ron steals information from the ATF and finds out their safe house or their bunker where they put all the marijuana and heroin and all those drugs. So Ron goes ahead and takes that information from ATF and then gives it to his bro over here and says, hey, you know what, give me 15 grand off of this because you're probably going to make a couple thousand dollars there. So give me 15 grand, I'll give you that information in the end. Okay, great. Everybody's off the hook. However, the ATF is out on this end. So what just happened? You had espionage being committed. One person took information from someone else. Shouldn't have done that. Now, does that mean you're a spy? No. In fact, that has nothing to do with spying. Spying there, you would actually have someone going in there, they're looking for a specific kind of information, they're pulling it out to their directive benefit. Yes and no, this is like that. However, you have Ron here who's actually blackmailing someone else. Ron commits espionage by stealing information from the ATF. That information is taken and given to James. James buys the information from Ron. Remember, Ron gets it here, he sells it to James. James gives him $15,000, Ron walks away. So Ron is now $15,000 richer. James, on the other hand, who is out of $15,000, but he gets his product back. Now let's say that product is worth about $200,000. Is $15,000 a good amount? Yeah. If he already paid for it, it's not. So he gets his merchandise back, and boom, he's gone out of the way. He kills the two people, guard the safe house, he takes it and runs. Now what just happened? Espionage was committed. But who committed espionage? That's a question. Ron did. Ron committed espionage by taking the information from ATF. Ron didn't have to do that. But guess what? Was it a benefit to Ron? Sure. This guy just made $15,000 by stealing some paperwork and getting a couple addresses. Espionage was committed. Now, let's go back. What is counter-espionage? Counter-espionage is actually stopping Ron here from getting that information. Is it also counterintelligence? Yes, it is. But is an extension. There is a difference between counterintelligence and counter-espionage. Intelligence is basically when it comes to the work when it comes to assets. Espionage actually involves a more harmful approach. Can those drugs harm people? Sure. Can Ron harm people by giving the information about the ATF? Sure. More people are getting their lives put in jeopardy because of Ron. Basically simple. But what if it was what if it wasn't drugs? 
What if it was the location of assets in another country? Let's say he gave them information about Diana and Sally that were in another country. Was that illegal? No. But you know what they were calling? Treason. Basically when you disobeyed your order or you went against your country, you sold your country out. You became a mole. How many of you know what a mole is? A mole is someone who actually works, let's say we have Homeland Security. Let's pick on that. You've got Homeland Security here and there's a mole. His mole is Ricky. Ricky works in Homeland Security as a detective. Ricky decides, you know what, I'm not really liking this right now. You know, my girl, she's over here and she works for this other company and I don't want her to lose her job. So I've got to give her something. So what does Ricky do? Ricky, for his passion and his love, gives information about Homeland Security to the girl over here. Should he have been doing that? No. He shouldn't have been. But guess what? He loves her. He just committed treason. Also, now he's a mole. If you take out information from that agency and give it to someone else, you are right now a mole. You're a leak. Now, a mole and a leak go on the other hand, but guess what? If you have a leak, it's done one time. If you have a mole, a mole is a person who is constantly a leak. They're constantly pulling out information. I can understand. A leak is someone who actually takes, okay, I had the continuity of government plans that uh, William Hansen had stole before, but now they're updated. Now I've got the new updated version about the president's bunker in Nevada or Arizona. Okay, so you take that information now, and guess what? You just told out the president. You just committed treason. You're a leak. But if you did it once, now what's a mole? A mole is someone who goes in and who constantly pulls information out. I mean like it's no tomorrow. They go into the computer, type it up, search box here, print it out. They print out hundreds of pages. Here, take it. You gotta give me something in return. Now here's the scariest thing. In an economic time like this, all of these agencies are laying off thousands of people. And those thousands of people don't just work for these agencies. They didn't just work for them. They knew a lot of stuff. So you've got people like Russia coming in. You've got people like Red China coming in. You've got people who work for all these agencies who are like, hey, you guys are in debt. These guys over here, they're not getting paid or they're going to get laid off soon. I'll tell you what, let's pay them a little extra so they can go ahead and destroy their country. Now, come on. Would they do it? You know what? When push comes to shove, they just may. If you can't feed your family, and you know that there's someone out there who wants information about where you used to work, I guarantee you, you would sell it out. Because you know what? Your country wasn't there for you, but the other side is. If this is the CIA right here, and this is the USSR, or let's call them Russians, and the Russians want the information, but your country won't even back you up. They just took out your pension. The, the bank just went in. You've got no money. You don't know what to do. But guess what? They're offering you $15,000. That could feed your family for a long time. That could put you out of debt. That would pay the bills. But the question is, would you sell your country out just to help them? That's the real question. Is it something you should do? It's a question of ethics right now. How, how, do you, how do you live with yourself after that? Should you not sell your country out, but technically your country already sold you out? So what should you do? Should you or should you not? It's a given choice. But let's go back to counter-espionage. Counter-espionage is basically stopping that person from even killing or hurting or pulling out information from you. All right, so you have, let's pick on someone new. But yeah, let's pick on NASA. That's a good one. Because the Russians actually have their own kind of space agency. They still do. Now, they can commit espionage against NASA. But NASA needs to have people working with them so espionage doesn't happen. Okay? All right, let's end it there.